Hi everyone, my name is Edward Gray and I'm the Officer for National Coordination here at Daria Eric. And I'm delighted to welcome you here to Daria offices in Berlin so we can discuss and benefit from the experience of Agnieszka with the GoTriple platform. Agnieszka, it's a delight to have you here. Hello Ed, happy to be here. GoTriple provides millions of resources for researchers like publications, projects and even researchers' profiles. And GoTriple also features several innovative services like an annotation tool and a crowdfunding tool, options to visualize your search query, and a recommender system that helps researchers like you find research projects related to their own work. As well, by providing a single access point and gathering data from 22 disciplines in 10 different languages, GoTriple expands the visibility of research beyond the barriers of national languages and disciplinary communities. Today's tutorial revolves around multilingualism. Agnieszka is a researcher at the Polish Academy of Sciences and will tell us a little bit about her experience with GoTriple and how she discovered the platform. That's true. I'm a literary researcher from the Institute of Literary Research from the Polish Academy of Science. I'm writing a PhD about digital scholarly editing, which consists of annotation or collating various versions of a literary text. Thus, Go Triple will be perfect for me. Well, thank you so much, Agnieszka. So now, could you tell me a little bit more about how you ran into the Go Triple platform and how it's useful for your research? Yeah, it's quite a story because I found Go Triple in my workplace, oh. and uh, Go Triple is great because it aggregates data from various open repositories, and I can find the data with in languages I do not manage. For example, Italian is a great uh, resource in here because uh, many wonderful digital scholarly editions are in Italian, and I cannot find it on my own. Oh, excellent. So in this way, it really enables you to go forward and, and, and find these materials in different languages and, and really opens doors that otherwise would be closed. Yeah, true. Well, that's really interesting. Could you show us how this works? No problem. I will go to the main website and type digital correspondence into the search bar. Over 800 results. Nice. I will check the first item, because it seems interesting for my PhD thesis, and I see that I can switch keywords language from English to French, Italian, or even to Polish. Nice! Now I will go with the View docu Document Page button, and I see this resource is in French, which I do not know. That's great! I only know English, Polish, and a little bit of Russian, but finding resources in other languages, it's quite hard for me. So now I will try to annotate this blog post with Pandit annotation tool. Ah, so what's Pandit? Pandit is an open source tool for collecting and annotating data from internet uh, websites. And now maybe I will show you how it works. Yes, yeah, please. Uh, so here we go with the blog post in French. I will annotate some kind of a data. Uh, Constance de Salm, she's an author of this correspondence, and I will comment. And also I would like to highlight that she has uh, 7,000 letters in her collection. Oh, interesting. Yeah. As easy as it is. All right. You should try it on your own. Oh, I'll definitely look <laughs> into that. You know, it really seems that the GoTriple platform has a way for us to bring together um, all the, the different languages together that sometimes we don't know how to read. It can help us decrypt and, and move forward and, yeah. and really opens up new doors to research. Um, so I really encourage you all to go to gotriple.eu and, and check it out. And with that said, there's nothing left to do except to thank you once again for coming here and explaining how GoTriple works, especially with multilingualism, and to invite you all to join us for the next episode of our GoTriple tutorial series, where we will have practical session focused on the discovery opportunities of GoTriple. Mm -hmm.